Let's begin today's Vanguard news with the next two Vguard promo cards with Link Joker and Neonecta finally getting their turn to shine, especially when one of them is getting a premium stride deck set. Cosmic Ragel, while in your hand, lets you discard it for the cost of calling your G guard. And when it's put on the Guardian Circle, you can remove a heal trigger from your hand or drop zone to lock up to two of your ear guards. It gets 20k shields. If you locked one or more cards, then you can pay one counter blast. If you lock two or more cards, to give your Vanguard 5k power until the end of the turn. It's like this card was made to abuse Destiny Guardian and that's not accounting for the abilities you can trigger after unlocking your units on your opponent's turn. I haven't played premium format in a long time, and I'm already getting pissed at Link Joker for no apparent reason. Vineyard Elf while in your hand, lets you discard it for the cost of calling your G-Guard. And when it's put on the Guardian Circle, you can remove a heal trigger from your hand or drop zone to get 20k shields. If you have two of the same unit on the field, then you can pay one counter blast. If you did not have two of the same units to give your Vanguard 5k power until the end of your turn. You're not getting much out of this card, if you're playing against a control player let alone not screwed over by your own dex bad RNG of having two of the same units on the field. Bushiroad continues to pander to the four premium format players at your locals, by giving everyone's favorite French swordswoman a rework and crest card in DZPS03. White Lily Musketeer Cecilia's crest when active, gives Maiden Lily Musketeer Captain Virginal Cecilia on your vanguard all of your White Lily Musketeer Cecilia with limit break force abilities, if she's your heart card, and an auto ability, that makes you draw a card when a White Lily Musketeer Cecilia is placed on rear guard from your deck, and that card gets 10k power. This crest also changes the original power of your grade 3 cards with limit break 4 to 13k power. And this crest enables you to use your limit break 4 abilities, even if you are at 3 or less damage. Vendors who were hoarding limit break enablers just got screwed over since Salome and Raging Form Dragon will also have a similar crest card. And can we just take a moment to laugh at how Bushiroad specifically specifies the limit break version, so players won't use the V-series retrain. It's like they know that the V-series was a huge mistake. And speaking of mistakes, notice that this crest card doesn't feature the 5k power increase per face up card in your G-zone like the ones we get in standard. The last thing the format needs is combining crest card and imaginary gift power that would put over triggers to shame. Maiden Lily Musketeer Captain Virginal Cecilia gets an errata in which she retains her old skills, but gets a new one. While in the G-zone face down, you can discard cards with 3 or more total grades. If you have a grade 3 white lily musketeer Cecilia Vanguard with a limit break for skill and you did not get an imaginary gift in this game yet. To stride this card then you can flip a musketeer card in your G-zone face up. To get 2 force markers and Cecilia's crest card. So basically the history collection G unit errata, but now with crest card integration. Expect the English version's card text to take up 3 quarters of the card's artwork. Finally, here is a list of G-Unit and G-Guard reprints included in the set. Despite being quote-unquote, a Musketeer Stride deck set, expect everyone to classify this deck as a Katrina variant when it tops, and is listed in Fuzzy Paradox's website, purely because of that single green Katrina reprint. And that concludes this Vanguard news without the bullshit. Special thanks to my Patreon members, that continues to support me, even after I got my YouTube partnership back. Be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments if you found your old SP Cecilia cards that you bought for cheap.